so I'm a little bit behind on my winter projects for the bikes. But I've got some stuff in here. I actually have a ton of stuff in the closet. But today, I'm just going to look at trying to put on uh, two things. I've got some mirrors and I've got some heel guards for both bikes. Uh, just because it's nice out and I really have to get this stuff on before the riding season starts. So some things, you guys have seen them. But I have new mirrors for the V4. And here's what they look like. Um, they're shorties. Uh, they're black aluminum, uh, this version that I got. And the reason why I went with these is because they are foldable mirrors. So if you've got a V4, uh, you know that the mirrors don't fold. On the 899, they do, although that's my track bike, so it doesn't have mirrors. But I'm hoping to replace the standard wide, huge V4 mirrors with these shorties. Should give me some good vision. Have the LEDs, they're plug and play. They're really good quality, black aluminum. So we're gonna take a look at the before and after of how these look. Now, in addition to the mirrors, has some other cool things, some carbon bits. Got some carbon fiber, 100% carbon fiber uh, heel guards for the V4. Now you notice that this weave is the traditional Ducati Performance weave. These are not Ducati Performance. Um, thought those were too expensive, so wanna save some money. Went with these instead from Moto Composites. This quality of carbon fiber is ridiculously awesome. You can't even tell. These are matte, just like the other carbon fiber that's on the V4 right now. But this is probably some of the best carbon fiber that I've seen on anything that I've ever ordered. So definitely going to order a lot more from Moto Composites. But went with the matte finish for uh, the V4, traditional weave. And then for the 899, went with a satin finish. So those carbon bits that I'm putting on that bike are more of a satin finish and the twill weave. You can see here, this is more twill. There we go. So this is more of a twill weave. This is gonna be for the 899. So we'll probably try to get both these on today, take a look at a before and after. Look at these two beautiful bikes. We're gonna go ahead and get started. You can see just how big these mirrors are that I was talking about. So let's get one out. Let's get one of the new mirrors out. And let's see how, just how much smaller this is, this is gonna look. So this will be quite a bit smaller get rid of those Dumbo ears and have them fold in, uh, which really they won't even need to be folded in because they're even a little bit thinner, make the bike thinner than the wings. Right now the mirror stick out past the handlebars, past the wings. With these, they'll be inside of the wings, so I shouldn't even have to fold them in. Uh, but if needed, they do fold in. So excited to get those on. And then the heel guards. Uh, just for this, this is really not a performance mod. Uh, obviously they're a little bit lighter negligibly, but uh, really just making these not stick out as much, uh, getting them in the carbon fiber. So that's gonna just get a little bit less silver and make the bike a little more sleek. Same thing on the 899, just making those a little bit more sleek. Lots more mods coming for this bike, but today's video is just gonna be on the mirrors and the heel guards. Just finished one mirror and they're a lot more compact than I thought. So I wanted to give you guys just a little preview of it uh, before I actually show you the total full before and after. So here you can see just how thin uh, the ones on the right are, the Damon DB Race, and how wide the OEM are. 
Uh, it's actually pretty cool because the LEDs, the turn signals are sequential, which I'll show you guys after I'm finished with it and I'll light them up. All right, now we have the finished product starting up the bike. Here is the after. And now check out the before and after. Overall, a lot more sleek. We'll have to give it a ride and test out the visibility. But one thing, like I mentioned before, this sequential turn signals. Let's take a look at how that works. So I see the other side. It's a nice touch. All right, now we just have to finish up the heel guards. Now for the heel guard on the V4, we're gonna do a little before and after. Here's the before. That doesn't look bad, but I'm thinking that the carbon fiber is gonna look that much better, make it look a little bit more sleek. There it is, all done. All right, that's it, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get the A99 fixed up. I wanna show you guys that it's the same thing as the V4. Pretty easy and simple to do. I'll give you guys one last look at the bikes.